Well, first, there was the eruption of Kilauea in 2018. Then there was the pandemic. For a long time, Big Island orchid business, the past few years have been tough. But just like its orchids, the family is resilient. Tonight's hardworking Hawaii takes us to the orchid aisle. Green thumbs run in the Akasuka family bloodline. This particular orchid is, uh, is called RLC Radiant Beauty. So um, this one, uh, this particular orchid is one my father created. Yup, you heard him right. Takeshi Akasuka's dad has been creating his own breed of orchids for almost 50 years. My uncle asks my dad, hey, want to go for an adventure and start to grow orchids outside of Japan? I say, sure. His father, Mori, planted his roots on the big island of Hawaii. It was the perfect spot. After all, its nickname is the Orchid Isle. I don't know how he did it um, back when he first started here, you know, in the 70s. He was not able to speak any English, um, and he hit the ground running. Akasuga Orchid Gardens opened up in 1974, just down the road from Kilauea Volcano. There are over 200,000 orchids here, and each one takes a lot of love and patience to grow. In fact, it takes about six years start to finish. Well, it does take six years from a baby orchid to get to the mature size, blooming size. It also took him an additional six years because he created the, the seed pod. Each plant is a labor of love. And that's a lesson that Maury passed on to his son. Did your dad put you to work at a oh, Yes, he did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then he always told me it's building character. So I didn't understand at the time, but now I understand what hard work means. And yeah, sometimes things don't work out, but you continue to just try your best. And that lesson has helped Takeshi lead his family through tough times. Like during 2018's big eruption, when the business was forced to close for months. And then, less than two years later, COVID hit. It was almost like deja vu when, oh, the national park is going to close. Oh, like everything stopped. It was like, oh my gosh, we're going through it again. Only this time, it was much worse. Visitors stopped coming to the town of Volcano. Pre-pandemic, there would be hundreds walking through Akasuka Orchid Gardens each day. Now, when we had cruise ships, it would be upwards of about a thousand people would be visiting us. Every day? Every day, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then what did it go down to when so, COVID hit? Uh, when COVID hit and we were able to reopen, we were averaging about between 10 to 20 people a day. Yeah, so a drastic decline. Business is better, but not by much. The one thing that has saved them is online sales. We do ship to all 50 states. With the proper care, Takeshi says some orchids can live up to 100 years old. These are baby orchids. They're about one year old. This is an orchid that's six years old, and if you do it right, they can live a lot longer. Here's an orchid that's 12 years old. Takeshi wants that same longevity for his business. The legacy that my family has built, you know, I definitely wanted to keep it going and do what we can to, to survive. So what's the secret to keeping an orchid alive? Takeshi says one of the biggest mistakes is using the ice cube method to water your orchid. He says you're basically starving your plant to death, and I have to admit, I have done that, unfortunately. For details on how you can purchase one of their orchids, just head on over to khon2.com.